Greetings once again fellow girls, guys and gamers, this is Small Archangel, thank you for joining me for this episode of Rising World, the Medieval Village Build. Uh, I have done a bit of off-camera work, I have done apart from my usual grinding, for resources uh, we've got a bit more of a road here, that I say road, <laughs> uh, a track that's going to go through the middle of our village, excuse me piggy, I spot Something that I want to take there. Potato and potato seedlings. Yes, I'm thinking about my farm here, folks. Um, we've got a little pathway leading to the logging cabin there. And we have got uh, a path, this main road, main road, which is going to go all the way through the centre of the village, as I say. But at the moment, it only goes this far. I just wanted to get the orientation more or less correct. Um, and uh, then we've got this path which is a little bit wider than the one, and it probably will be a little bit more like a cart track width by the time I've finished, which just leads to our farm. And this is our farm so far. Um, and I'm possibly going to use this texture of block here to do the courtyard as well. We've got some left over, or maybe I will use something different. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, and we've got this place laid out and leveled, and I'm happy with the dimensions. And then we've got a gateway leading out back here, which is pretty flat, but I've replanted it with uh, with grass. And I, it, ideally, I would like it not to be mowed lawn style. I'd like it to be kind of that length of grass there, really. So we're probably going to do some replanting of grass in here as well. But first of all, <laughs> and I've forgotten my my stone blocks, but we want the decent, we want the right kind of stone blocks for the job anyway. So I'm going to just do some grass trimming here. Um, let's take all of this grass. We need the grass anyway. There we go, uh, because I did extend the boundaries of our farmhouse a little bit, so we might have to level that off a tad. But this is going to be our orchard out the back here this is going to be our orchard and it won't necessarily be the whole lake I think it's probably we're going to have a wall going across there um but I do have uh, I have brought these from out at the moment we're just going to bung them in our farmyard farmyard courtyard here for the moment there we go uh we've got our block bench as well so we'll just stick that there also and last but not least our saw bench although we're not likely to need that just yet Let's put that here. There we go. And this place will take shape gradually, but I do want to get some source of food set up first. Uh, and that means, yeah, getting our orchard uh, more or less sorted. I know I can just run straight through the walls there. Fantastic. So we've got our favourites list uh, up and running. We've got some grass, which is nice. Uh, I want to have a look and see what other natural blocks there are as well, because I would love to have a thatch roof on this place i don't think there's any such thing as thatch uh but uh this one here is the one i'm going to use for the walls of the farmhouse i think that's going to be probably the best thing um for the moment and then that yeah i don't know let's see if there's some more i can add to their cobblestone uh, I have a feeling, yeah, this one here we want to add to our farm uh, with our favourites because the cobblestone with a little bit of grass in between is great for sort of uh, flooring in our farmyard, perhaps uh, for pathways and what have you. And then, yeah, I want to look at the natural blocks to see if there's anything we could use as a that. And I don't think there is. You see the sand, it's all terrain stuff. But if there's anything we can use that'll look even vaguely like thatch, uh, I would love to do that. But I don't know if we're going to find anything that is going to look like thatch for the roof. I don't really want to put... Because um, thatch is going to be more authentic than anything else, to be honest. So maybe what we're going to have to do is use something like that. Loam. And that's dirt. Uh, but that is going to look more thatch-like than anything else, to be honest. So I think maybe... One of these blocks is the way to go for our thatch roof. But it's going to be a while before we get to that, folks, because uh, for the moment we uh, we have quite a lot of building and constructing to do first. So we've just mapped everything out in this uh, this sort of rough stone here, which I thought might be good for the exterior walls. Um, so we might use that, actually, for the exterior walls. Let's grab, We've got some of that at our woodsman's cabin i can just about get to the woodsman's cabin without actually yeah without running out of stamina just about if i could straight across country there we go um and then i've got some spare blocks in here so we'll take those okay so as i say because we've got 
kind of an edge here which is quite uneven and what have you I don't intend the orchard to go absolutely all the way up to the edge here we're just gonna have an enclosed space out the back there's gonna be at least a dozen blocks in this direction probably larger um, we will take it from yeah we're gonna need our rake there aren't we let's let's just level that there we go so that we can see this okay and we'll take that out a dozen blocks as well oh that's not what I meant there we go and of course we now can't see this either so I need to just level that off there we go and we're gonna have to cut the grass here but as I say I want to have uh, some grass in here um, so is that a dozen did we do I think I did yes I did now is that gonna be a large enough space really I think I probably want to go a little bit further out than that so let's take it out three more blocks there we go it doesn't need to be a huge area I don't think Oh, let's go for broke. Let's, uh, there we go. So how many is that all together? 18. All righty. That'll do. There we go. That's the space. Now, we can't see it ever so well at the moment because uh, the grass is a little bit on the long side. So I'm just going to cut the grass. And I want the grass. I want it to look a little bit wild in here. So I do want there to be some grass. And now it's cutting it all for some reason. Just, oh, come on. Just cut to the first level. That's what I want. Oh, for goodness sake. Sometimes the sickle just overdoes the job and cuts the whole lot out. And it's really quite difficult to get the balance. But that's what I'm after is just the first level of grass so that it doesn't look too cultivated in here. And sometimes it doesn't work at all. There we go. And of course, this is still really not very level there we go so basically I'm gonna just make sure that we've got this full of grass but short grass and then we should be able to see the space that we've got in here but in the meantime I think evenings coming on so I'm probably gonna to have to sleep through the night because we've got no such niceties as lighting around here just yet Okay, so that's more or less done. I've got uh, the grass in here, all at the right kind of length. I've got some flowers, though, which I'll just get out of the way. We've got our boundaries marked. Uh, there's some bits of grass which are a little bit longer, but I quite like it that way. And then I've got a kind of a pathway here as well, where the grass would be realistically worn away, where we enter and exit uh, in our gateway there. So that's good as well. Um, and then what I want to do is build up the walls somewhat as well because this whole farmyard is going to be kind of enclosed and so is our orchard uh, so that it's kind of I don't know semi sort of fortified really um, against what or whom I'm not entirely sure but there you go so the decision remains then do we build our walls up uh, out of this stone here or no is it going to look good well we can but give it a try so let's just grab some blocks and give it a go we've got a sledgehammer so we can remove them if uh, if we decide uh, it's not a good plan I'm just gonna put a section like this there we go uh, and that's relatively rough stone and that's about the height that we're probably going to build it at as well and actually that's probably about right to be honest for our external walls the farmhouse itself I may build out of slightly different stone possibly but actually I quite like that stone um, for the the walls around the outside of the enclosure because it's yeah it's not dressed stone at all it's very very rough um, and as I say we've got a load of blocks left over so we may as well use those up there we go and we'll go around as much as we can with those there we are and we've only got seven left there so we'll use those up as well there we go so oops there we go and then we can see that more clearly oops 
Is that it? That is the lot. Okay, well, we can quite easily make some more blocks. This will also keep the animals out of our... Um, we'll just make a couple more of those, because we're probably going to make use of them. Especially if we go around the rest of the farm um, with the same stone, which would make sense to do. There we go. This is going to keep the animals out as well. Uh, just because, much as I'd love to have some animals in my farm, I don't really want them just wandering wherever. I've got a really bald patch there. I'm not quite sure why. That's quite strange. And I'm fairly sure I had filled all of the grass in. But I don't know if it's bugging out or what, but I will have to endeavour to do something about that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now, I have only managed to scavenge a few trees at this point, but at some point we will have lots and lots of, uh, of lovely trees in here. Uh, but for the moment, I've just managed to get two saplings, two uh, apple saplings and one cherry sapling. And we will put these sort of in rows. Um... Or maybe we'll have apple on one side. And eventually, if we get the other types of tree as well, I think there's lemon trees, we'll put some of those in here as well. They won't be very authentic, of course, but then I can't promise that this whole medieval project is going to be 100% authentic. Because that would be, well, quite difficult. And, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit dull as well. Because I want to be able to work, basically, I want to be able to... Um, I want to be able to be a bit creative, really. So it's going to be a bit of a hodgepodge. But if you think realistically, anywhere that you could imagine that you go to that is sort of a medieval place is going to be a hodgepodge anyway, because uh, it's never made in a single year or a single day or any such thing. I think I'll just move that over a bit, actually, because uh, we want a bit of space between them. So I'm going to have them in lines, but not use the grid system, because that's a little bit too too tidy and realistically they wouldn't be and we'll have another one there so we'll have them kind of three in a row that's about right i think and then we'll start with the cherry trees on the other side in the same kind of manner so i'll put my cherry tree there okay there we are so we probably won't have as many cherry trees we'll have apple we'll put apple trees uh on that in fact probably we should have that the other way around shouldn't we bearing that in mind because there's more space on that side Let's do it that way around. We'll have an apple tree. Apple trees on this side of the orchard. And cherry and anything else like lemon on the other side. That makes more sense. There we go. It's a shame the cherry trees don't blossom as well because they would look really, really pretty. Okay, so having done that, I've got some stone in my inventory. And we should probably build up some of the walls around the outside of our farm project too. Um, but first I'm getting a bit hungry and thirsty. Now, eating this will... Go on, eat it. There we go. We'll actually take care of my thirst somewhat as well. But we also need, um, while we're doing this, we need to build a well in this farm yard as well. And from a point of view of being able to sustain ourselves, not only planting trees and having, see there's a cherry tree over there, which I deliberately left because we can get some food from that as well. So we're not having to run backwards and forwards to the farmhouse, the uh, the logging cabin rather, the woodsman's cabin, too often. Um, and it's gonna be a bit more efficient, but we are gonna have a well here as well because I don't know that there's a water hole that close to here. I haven't found one anyway. There probably is one not that far away, but it's also uh, relatively authentic to have a source of water inside the farmyard as well. Um, so uh, that's what we're going to do. Uh, but first, let's build some walls around this place. Now, we're hardly going to have any windows in this place at all. Um, and again, that is pretty authentic. So we're going to have a couple of little windows in the actual farmhouse. But here, and again, we're just going to have, oh, we've run out already, there we go. We're just going to have the walls about three blocks high, like so. And here as well. Oop, there we go. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we might eventually make that just sort of four blocks wide and then have two. So let's just work on that basis. And then we'll have two doors there like big gates that is my my sort of plan so we'll just build this bit of wall here for the now oh i will run out again 
there we go that's pretty much all of our exterior walls dealt with we've then got the interior walls which are going to be pretty much the same uh so we'll just put those in oh i've run out again there we go so this wall here we've got our gateway going through into our orchard It'd be nice to have a a metal gate there but again not sure that's particularly authentic and the kind of we can build in this game certainly wouldn't be so we won't worry about that we'll just put the same kind of uh, rustic looking wooden door there I think to serve as our gate and we just run out completely wow how perfect is that and then the only bit of wall we've yet to build really uh, these walls here are by and large going to be high enough there are bits where we've got structures where we're going to have to extend them to be a little bit taller I think one block taller here and a couple of blocks taller here and here uh, and then our farmhouse is just over here so uh, we're going to yeah we're going to build we need a bit more, a few more of these. Let's just make 64 more of those. And then I've probably run out of stone. Um, and we'll see if we can, there probably aren't enough to do this. But the other reason that I've left this a bit is because we're going to need to put some windows in here. So we're going to have, I think, a window. Uh, hmm, maybe we won't have a window in this end wall, actually, because I want to put a fireplace here. So we won't put a window there, but we will put a couple of little windows on this wall here. And they will probably want to go kind of there. And about there, like that. Yeah, that looks about right to me. That looks about right to me. Um, and then they will be, yeah, about sort of that size. And this should keep Daisy and Flossie out as well. Okay. And that's very nearly finishing <laughs> that layer off. There we go. So as I said in the previous episode, uh, we've got, we're have got going to have stone for the bottom layer of our build. Uh, and then uh, the top layer uh, of, of the farmhouse or the two-story the two story or two kind of layer uh, structures which is just going to be our farmhouse here which is actually going to have a second story as well and our barn here is going to be taller though whether it actually technically has a second story I'm not sure if we're going to do that it's going to be taller um, and we're going to put stone at the bottom and then kind of wattland door at the top with wooden gables and then thatch or pseudo thatch roof um, hopefully that's going to look uh, quite good we might change our mind a little bit about the stone. As I say, I would quite like, now if we've got any stone left, I've got 37 stone left. I would quite like to use this stone here. Let's just test that. Um, for our farmhouse interior wall. Now at the moment, I've got this bench kind of in the way, so we can't see it ever so well. But uh, we're going to have our farmhouse door probably pretty much opposite that window there. So let's just take that across here. And we'll have a window into the yard here as well. But that is the stone I was thinking of maybe using for the farmhouse wall like that. And then, of course, it's going to be sort of stone on the inside as well. And then we'll probably have a window opposite the window we've got there. So that's to say five blocks five there like so and then we'll have a window and the door uh, like that and I might might move those windows a little bit so have a window there and then have a window kind of there and a little bit less space between them but I'm not absolutely sure at this point and as I say here we're going to have a fireplace as well um but yeah that looks like it might be a little bit too far into that corner to me so uh Let's just see what it looks like if we change that around a little bit. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, that might be better. That might be better. I'm not sure. But uh, as I say, none of this is set in stone. It's built in stone, but it ain't set in stone. So that is uh, something that I can always change my mind about later on. But I quite like this stone for the farmhouse walls on the inside of course the inside of the walls uh is is going to be bare stone so we're not going to be uh, obviously we can't paint it but it's probably fairly authentic to not paint it anyway all the same this stone here i might just 
you know, use the same stone as I've used for the exterior walls. But I quite like the idea of doing it in slightly different, uh, slightly different stone. This might not be quite the right one, of course, because it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit dry stone wall. We might be better off with something like mm, that, but it's not ever so. It's not ever so. That's a little bit too modern, really, in some ways. Um, but uh, but anyway, yeah, I will have a think about that. But uh, in the meantime, I think I am virtually uh, virtually suffering from dehydration here. So I'm going to head back to our water hole over here and then we're going to make ourselves a well. We're not going to be able to fill it until we've made ourselves a bucket. And in order to be make ourselves a bucket, we're going to need an anvil. So maybe that's the next thing that we ought to do is make ourselves an anvil. Oh dear, I've fallen in it again. This is the reason why I really want to well, because it's going to be so much easier to get a drink. Uh, drink, for goodness sakes. There we go, finally. Okay, so we've got some metal in here. We're also going to need some more stone, so we'll have some more stone. Um, we've got some iron ingots, but not that many. I've got some iron ore. We don't need that in our inventory. We need it in our inventory, but not in my hand. Thank you. Um, so we'll put some iron ore on to, uh, to smelt. Uh, although I think we've probably not got any, got any fuel in it. Okay, so that's something I'm going to have to remember to do. But I don't want to leave it and forget like I did last time. So there we go. We'll just put some of that in there for the time being. Um, and set that going. I'm pretty sure I've got some some coal in here yes we have but we won't put too much in there just in case our saplings haven't grown yet they do take quite a while where's the hatch there it is okay we'll leave it at that for the time being and not put too much in it at all and hopefully that will be sufficient to get those ingots smelted now can we craft and um, for this we're probably going to have to go back so to our farmhouse, aren't we? And we're where our benches now are. Uh, and craft ourselves an anvil. If we can craft an anvil, now I'm going to have to not run through the walls. If we can craft ourselves an anvil um, on this bench here, probably. Crafting stations, anvil, 24 iron ingots. Okay, it's going to take rather more iron ingots than that. And of course, uh, an uh, a farmyard is not uh, an authentic place to put uh, um, an anvil either. Ultimately, of course, uh, it will be... Um, well, I don't know how many of these to do. We don't need that many, do we? Let's just do that many for the time being, because I just need it a little bit more wall finishing off here. And there. And then we're going to need a bit more wall, actually, on the inside here as well. And I think that's going to be... Though we may... Oh, look at that. She's just clipping straight through the wall. Silly, silly cow. Um, so we may put, build these also in the same, the same stone as we have the farmhouse. Uh, that would probably look... Oh, I don't know. Maybe it would be better to build these structures out of the rougher stone. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not decided yet. But what we want to do really is make ourselves this well. Um, and this stone is probably the right stone to do that. So we're going to need to find the right blocks. We're going to need some of the curved ones here. We're going to need a fair few of those. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I reckon we're probably going to need at least that many for the depth of it. And then we're going to want to make it roughly round on the, 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 the top, but we can't on the ground surface, I mean. But we're not, we're not going to be able to make it entirely round because there's no such block, unfortunately. This is, you know, that's the nearest we get. That doesn't allow us to make it round. So we're going to have to make it with the slanted blocks. And then, of course, we're going to have to dig it out as well. So we're going to put it, uh, let's see, we don't want it. Then we've got this pathway directly between our main entrance and at the gateway into our orchard. And uh, we don't want to block that. So we probably want our well to be sort of here-ish, don't we? Probably want it to be here-ish. Let's just switch 
that around like that and then we're going to want this this way around I've got my sledgehammer so we can move this if it doesn't seem to be quite in the right position it is quite difficult to judge where we're putting it I think probably there let's just try it here there we go is that going to be roughly the right place for it it probably is we've got space to move and maneuver around it i'm also thinking of when we finally get mounts and when we're going to be able to sort of um i think i might place it one block further over in this direction actually to my right there we go, and that is about as round as we can possibly make the thing. Uh, we could make it completely square, but then, to be honest, it would be a little bit on the large side. So I don't really want to do that if I could possibly help it. Um, I might place some other blocks on the top because these ones, the ramps, are just kind of a bit on a different, a sort of a strange orientation. So um, I'm not sure how I'm going to top it off just at this point. Um, we shall see, but for the moment I do need to dig this out so that we can place um, the, we can dig it out a bit deeper. We need to put our other walls down there. We're going to need the dirt anyway, aren't we, for our, um, is that in the right position? Yes, it is. Nice. Turn it around. Oh my goodness, I just placed that. Goodness only knows where, and now I'm going to get stuck down here. Yeah, can't get out now. Brilliant. Stunning. Okay. Uh, nope, can't get out. Okay, we're going to have to place some... There we go. Now I can probably get out. There we are. Okay, but I'm going to have to dig that out again now. So, note to self, do not fall down. Oh, well. There we are. Can we place any more of these? Or do we need to shift any more blocks? There we are, and we're still going to need to take this out. There we go, and I've got one more there. <clears throat> Does that look deep enough? Not really. It probably wants to be a little bit deeper than that, so I'm probably going to have to make it a layer deeper than that, like down there somewhere, I think. So I will dig it out just a little bit more but i will try and do this from here of course we might be limited by oh my word i've fallen down it again this is crazy okay i'm really not sure how to do this folks because i'm just going to keep falling down um unless i can craft myself a ladder but i can't do that in here so the only thing i can do at this point is refill the well to get myself out which is really quite stupid and then dig it all out again but we'll get there in the end so we're going to need to make some more of these uh, at least about four i think okay it's the next day uh some of our trees here are grown now which is lovely and of course our forge our little furnace here as uh produced us some more ingots now we've only got 19 even now so we're gonna have to put it on again before we've got enough iron to make ourselves an anvil so that is probably gonna have to wait until the next episode because we're nearly done here uh for this for this episode so i'll just place some more of these in here there we are and then fuel it up a little bit and set it going there we go lovely so uh we will put these back and then head back to our farm uh where we have more or less got a well we haven't got a bucket to fill it yet so i'm still gonna have to keep running back over there in order to get uh in order to sort of uh refill my my thirst meter but there's the well being careful not to fall down it there is the completed well as i say i want to kind of dress the top with something and i'm not quite sure what yet um but uh yeah i don't know maybe i'll have to look at some images and see if there's anything that could be done about that because this is just yeah i don't know the way that the orientation of the the blocks changes looks a bit strange to me 
Um, meanwhile, we've got these trees growing, but they're going to take a while. I will look out for more saplings as I go. Oh, I need to fill in these bits of grass here where it's kind of bugged out and disappeared. I'm not sure what's happened there. And there as well. I'm not sure, but uh, bald patch is not too great. Not really keen on that. And then, of course, in the next episode, we're going to start really building um, the uh, interior structures of this place. So we're going to leave the farmhouse kind of till last because that's going to be our main habitation for a while. Um, but we're going to build these structures here. We're going to decide what stone we're going to use. Uh, I yeah, quite like the idea of building the farmhouse with just one kind of stone. Um, and uh, we might have a little window in the side wall here as well. Uh, and then having these structures built with the more rough stuff. But I might build all the interior structures in this stone here. I'm not sure yet. Do not fall down the well. I will put a well covering on, I think. <laughs> one of those rough wooden ones, because otherwise I will just keep falling down it but I won't do that until I've built that up another layer um, and uh, I will experiment a bit, little, little bit with that with what it's going to look like once there's water in there funnily enough we will be able to get out easier because we'll just be able to swim out but uh, for the moment yeah I do get stuck now and have to fill it in with something and I don't actually have anything to fill it in with for the present so I'm going to have to be very careful there was how to cheat fly out or something stupid um okay guys so i hope you've enjoyed this episode i hope you like how the build is going so far we have only just begun uh because i don't have because of time constraints basically with uh, making videos and editing and things this is a long project there are a lot of buildings uh, to go i've got a lot of ideas but it's going to take a long time to do because we're going to have to do each building in stages and as i say i cannot i cannot pretend to complete authenticity either it's going to be quite a mishmash uh, ranging from the Saxon period to the mid Middle Ages and you know so we're gonna have quite a difference of sort of uh, a, munch, a mixture of styles and what have you but hopefully at the end of the day it's gonna look pretty good and it's we're gonna have some fun doing it which is the whole point after after all so as I say guys if you enjoyed this episode you know what to do hit that like button let me know also feel free and leave your comments uh, I would welcome some suggestions and some ideas of uh, buildings uh, um, that should be in included in our medieval village i already have a list of them and a fairly good idea but uh, i can well believe there might be something that i have forgotten and if so you guys can fill in the gaps all right guys so i hope you will join me for the next episode until then as ever keep gaming keep surviving and stay happy bye bye for now